Well, here we are imprisoned for another vegan day of eating. Easy and nourishing comfort foods. I mean, to be fair, factually speaking, a vegan diet has never been easy or nourishing. But I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe as some fluke of nature after being on a vegan diet for God knows how many years, her brain cells have somehow relocated themselves back into her brain. And I will say 40,000 views on a video with only 117 comments is highly suspicious. I mean, this is an amount of comments you would get if you had a few thousand views on your video. But I mean, to be fair, if you give yourself liver damage from a vegan diet, <laughs> at some point you're going to start losing weight. Alright, so for breakfast, I am making some oatmeal. My house is a mess right now. I'm like in a huge rush because my parents are coming over, but I have some water in here. I'm just going to make a cup of oatmeal you guys so i wanted i'm making oatmeal i've been obsessed with this like berry compote i don't know if that's what it's called but i basically um have been making like i take a bag of frozen berries i add some water into a hot pan and then i add some stevia and a little bit of vanilla and i like cook it down and it makes this amazing like sugar-free kind of syrupy deliciousness so i made a strawberry one and a raspberry one and i'll kind of insert some clips of how i made it i mean this is supposed to be easy she's already telling us it's going to take you about an hour and a half to make your oatmeal in the morning but it's technically like a sugar-free jam and i just put it on a sugar-free jam <sighs> she, um, she means she didn't add sugar to the jam it's still sugar glucose and fructose on top of my oatmeal with a banana and it's like the best thing ever put a little how bit old of is milk. she so good i'm gonna put it the recipe probably i mean i mean let's be honest if she had gray hair like you could probably pin her for like 45 50 60 years old right she doesn't have this like youthful vibrant face uh, let's find out let's google how old is high carb hannah all right so she's like my age she's 30 years old uh but the thing i wanted to point out was as you age, your soft tissue and your skeletal tissue is indicative of your diet. So if you have enough protein, especially vitamin K2, magnesium, your soft tissue will look a lot healthier, a lot fuller. In her case, it's about as bad as it gets because she's been vegan for a while now. I don't know if I'll put the recipe on my website because it's so easy to make. Anyways, hello. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. Um, I My parents are visiting, so I haven't had you said that already <laughs> listen listen guys i i personally i don't get a lot of sleep i i i think i repeat myself sometimes but that that's pretty bad that's pretty fucking bad like how could you not go back when you're editing this video watching it and say okay hold on i said that twice in the span of 30 seconds i had like a ton of time but i'm going to show you guys like what i'm making for lunch and dinner today and yeah we're going to tombstone today and doing like a, a tour of the town because it's a really interesting old mining town taking my parents and i'm just trying to eat some breakfast before we go it's like 10 45 and i'm really hungry and that's it but i'll show you guys what this looks like and then i'll see you for lunch my oats are done and i'm just going to put a chopped banana on top I mean, in my mind, easy is like taking a packet of instant apple cinnamon oatmeal, putting it with some boiling water in a bowl and eating breakfast within five minutes, you know? There's nothing in the oats. It's just plain oats and water. Usually I add like stevia or something, but I'm just really in a rush today. So then I have my raspberry. I'm going to do both. I just like to put this on top. It looks, it makes it look all fancy and it's like jam, but like a sugar-free healthy homemade jam just add a little soy milk 
No, we had to ruin it. That is it. How good does this look? All right, so if it was just the oats and the bananas and everything was organic, honestly, it's it's not too horrible of a meal. When you put those other really bright red fruits on it that are high in certain flavonoid compounds, it's not too easy on your liver. It's not something I would be eating every day, that's for sure. And a little bit of soy milk, I mean, how would you get your daily estrogen and chemicals? The main issue is if someone's young, if they're a teenager in a developmental stage of life, they need to be getting a lot of animal protein in their diet. When I say this meal is okay, I mean if you're a full-grown adult. That's the only circumstance where this might be okay to have for breakfast. Is it? How good does this look? Can, like stir it all up. It's my newest obsession. Also, if you put like PB2 powder on top of this, it basically tastes like peanut butter and jelly. So good. For lunch, I'm gonna make some fries because I'm feeling super lazy. So I have these potatoes that I just. <laughs> this the, these people, their brains are rotting. It's an easy day of eating. If you have raw potatoes, there is no circumstance where cooking any sort of potato product from a raw potato is easy. Grease steamed, and I just keep them in a bowl in my fridge. I just put them in my Instant Pot for six minutes, and I let it naturally release. And this just helps them to cook a little bit so that um, they don't dry out in the air fryer, and it helps them just keep their... Okay, so you had to wash use the instant pot i mean it took you at least 15 20 minutes to prep the potatoes moisture and i feel like they taste like just way better so i'm just gonna chop these into fry shapes and my go-to seasoning lately has just been a little bit of chili powder <laughs> pours in three tablespoons i do a little bit of smoked paprika maybe quarter teaspoon I no, use some of this Arizona already. habanero hot pepper blend and then just some garlic salt. And you just want to shake these up. And then I'm just going to put these in my air fryer basket. And I will cook these in the air fryer on 400 for about... Now this is interesting to me because anytime you season a food, those spices, those seasonings, they need to be processed by your liver. So she thinks she's being healthy by not adding oil, by not adding fat to these potatoes. But in reality, it would be much healthier to add 100 or 200 cal, even 300 calories worth of oil to these potatoes instead of all of those, those seasonings, those peppers, and uh, way less stress on the liver. What? 15 minutes and then I'll check them. Usually they get pretty crispy after 15 minutes, but sometimes these big rusted potatoes take a little bit longer to cook. So I'll just do 15 minutes and check them because I don't want them to burn. All right, these look perfect. They look the same as when you put them in, but okay. I'm just gonna have these with a little bit of this ketchup. So yum. Okay guys, so for dinner, I'm gonna make- <laughs> You gotta be fucking kidding. She, this is fucking hilarious, guys. This is so fun. This is, she had a bowl of oatmeal with fruit for breakfast, which probably didn't even taste that good because she didn't add sugar or anything to it, so it wasn't even that sweet. She had french fries with ketchup. She had french fries for, what? Am I, am I losing it or is this completely crazy? How can you film a YouTube video making homemade french fries without any fat or anything for lunch with ketchup. There is no way she is not completely starving. There has been zero fat whatsoever in this meal today, just pure carbohydrate energy. And I'm sure she's eaten stuff off camera during this day of eating. Hey, the so ketchup's yum. organic. Okay guys, so for dinner, I'm gonna make my chickpea noodle soup. I've been obsessed with this soup lately. It is so nourishing and comforting and I was feeling like a little bit under the weather. I mean, I'm assuming by nourishing, she means her distorted reality of what a healthy diet is, making her feel good about what she's eating. Uh, on the other hand, if you look like a 60 year old hag when you're 30, maybe your diet isn't too nourishing a while ago and I had this soup and I've been obsessed with it ever since. So to get- it, it, Just the little details, if you guys notice, she put water in this pan and, and vegans usually replace oil with water because they think it's healthier. Ironically, it's probably some nonstick pan that's 
leaching toxins into her food and she's using just regular conventional vegetables that are full of herbicides, fungicides, and pesticides. So, you know, unfortunately it takes a lot of research and understanding and objectivity to grasp what nutrition actually is. And I mean, I don't know anyone else on YouTube telling the entire truth. So you can't expect these vegans to even have half of the story. Started, I have some chopped garlic, onion, zucchini, and carrots. And I have this recipe on my website. So I I'll will be sure link to that check that out later, guys, because I'm kind of using up extra stuff today. Um, but the actual recipe is on my website. So I just have this over high heat, and I'm just going to add this in. We, we heard about the website the first time you said it five seconds ago. In here and saute it for a little bit. I'm also going to add in about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of turmeric. So I. You know, my dad, against my uh, advice, was uh, taking turmeric shots. And I, I mean, I warned him about it before, but he was literally leaking green and orange from his hands. And it was like all over the house. And he was he was yelling at me because he thought I did something. But uh, the, the stuff is poison. The stuff the stuff is not something that the average person can tolerate on a daily basis. I usually use better than bouillon for this, but I have these not chicken bouillon cubes. And I'm just going to use these. So now I'm just going to add in six cups of water and bring this up to a boil and let this cook for a little bit and now i'm going to add in my noodles so i have 10 ounces of spaghetti noodles here on the recipe on my website i think i use six ounces um but i like it to be really noodly so i'm adding an extra and i like to be really noodly I'm just using this spaghetti, organic spaghetti pasta. Oh, the spaghetti is organic. Ooh. Sometimes I'll use rice pasta. Sometimes I'll use like the chickpea pasta. But today I'm just using this. I've been making it with this for a while. And it's just, it's very reminiscent of the way that my mom used to make chicken noodle soup. So I like the long noodles. And you'll just want to cook the noodles according to the package. So these um, I need to cook for 12 minutes. So I will just let it do that and then once that is done, we'll add in the rest of the ingredients and then it's basically done. Alright, so my noodles are done. You want to kind of cook them al dente and then you can basically just turn it off because it is going to cook a little bit more just because the water is so boiling. So then I just have... I feel like I'm watching a five-year-old try to <laughs> show people what they think is healthy have some peas and corn these are just frozen peas and corn that have green beans and carrots in them I, like I just don't get it she put basically the same combination of vegetables green orange and she's doing it again to add that in there right away to just cool it down i'm also going to add in some miso just because i have it oh, that but looks it is not necessary it's not in the recipe on my website, so it's totally optional. And then I like to add in a little sprinkling of nutritional yeast, just like a teaspoon or a tablespoon or so. I have a can of chicken. How much shit is she gonna add to this? Uh, we did a video on nutritional yeast, I think a couple of years ago now, explaining how the vitamins aren't really available as well as it just being basically empty crap you know there's there's no point of really consuming nutritional yeast even if you're a vegan it's not going to help you at all chickpeas that i've rinsed and drained here and the recipe on my website also has um a block of tofu in there i don't have any tofu right now so i'm just making it without it and if you guys want to keep it lower fat it's just as good without the tofu so you definitely don't so why don't you just say you're half-assing your recipe. Oh my God, this is so stupid. This is like if someone wanted to show someone a recipe with grilled cheese and then have the butter for it. I don't need to add the tofu into the recipe. I make it a lot of times just with the chickpeas and it's great. And then I'm gonna add into here a ton of kale. This is probably four cups, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all of it in there. And this will just wilt because it's so hot. That is pretty much it. I will eat this entire thing in like two days. Approve it. It's so Prove filling, it. so nourishing, want video so delicious. Proof. You guys have to try it. If you love chicken noodle soup, it is just amazing. And I am totally obsessed with it. 
I mean, this is the biggest nonsense I've ever seen in my life. There, there's no way 40,000 people watch this video. And if, if you followed this type of eating for just a week, you would completely deplete your B vitamin stores. You would have no energy. You would feel like you're going to die. If I had to guess how many calories she ate today, I would say it's probably 1,000 of pure carbohydrates. That's it. And that last meal, so many anti-nutrients, so many agrochemicals from all of these vegetables and high water stuff that's not organic. Horrible, horrible diet. Zero fat, zero protein. I, 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 don't, I don't believe it for half a second. At her stage in health, she probably can't follow this diet for a day. Let's see if we have any comedians in the comment section. I mean, I mean, guys, I've been on YouTube for four years. I've never had people say comments like this. They're so obviously fake. Hannah, I've been following you for so long now. With every video, I am more proud of you. You're so generous and such a fantastic role model. Thank you for always keeping us up to date on simple but delish recipes. I'm making your chana masala for dinner tomorrow. My husband has recently begun to embrace to a whole foods plant-based way of eating and it's exciting to see where his health is going <laughs> holy shit this is fucking this is great that soup looks amazing thank you she she literally put a couple of vegetables some fake chicken broth and some plain pasta in a soup no seasoning no fat no acidity whatsoever and you guys are saying it looks like this is this is pure comedy I love that you had french fries for lunch. <laughs> is, is this the state of the IQ of people that watch her videos? They're asking for what type of utensil to eat the soup with? Did you use a fork? <laughs> I couldn't tell in the video which utensil you used. <laughs> Sounds like someone trying to keep a conversation with their dinner date. Oh, did, did you take a bite out of that pasta with your fork or spoon? I'm curious. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Next time I go out with someone, when they're like putting butter on their bread, I'm going to be like, hey, did you just use your knife to butter the bread? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking losing it just as much as these people. All right, guys, I've had enough of this. You know, I'm generally curious how much money these people make being horrendous liars with even more horrendous videos. Uh, but if you do want to support me, you can check out frank com for some legitimate businesses as opposed to this nonsense. So... If you guys could also drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and make sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, frank Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.